Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Distraint 2 as we're figuring out what's awaiting in front of us. This is a very strange game, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So for those of you who've been enjoying it, thanks for coming back. And for those of you new here, welcome. Good to see you here as we continue on through our playthrough. If you haven't already, make sure you click or tap that like button. And of course, as always, subscribe if you're new here. And a welcome, a big warm welcome to you all. Uh, oops. This guy's out of his cage now. Out of my way. Uh oh. Sir? How do I get him to move? Hit him with the syringe. Okay, well that machine we fixed in reception opened that gate, but now there's a guy standing in the way. Great. Um, I don't even know how we did the piano puzzle last time, honestly. I got lucky with that one. I hope I can get lucky with whatever this puzzle... Actually... Wait, the only other puzzle remaining is the TV. If we can't interact with that guy, maybe it's the TV. Um, I don't know what to do now. I guess we'll go in here. I don't even know what we're trying to do. There's a lot of hiding places here. Making me nervous. Uh... Is this supposed to be like a number or something? Uh. Oh wow, I don't even know what this is. What am I even controlling? I don't know what this uh, image is supposed to be. Maybe it's a... Wait a minute. That guy called them gorillas before. You remember those big big dudes who stand in front of doors? Maybe it's like a... Maybe it's a gorilla or something? I, I don't see what it is yet. Is it an animal or a person? What is this? Uh. Wait, oh, is that a flower? Oh, it looks like a rose. It looks like a rose. Um. Oh, it's a, it's a flower. Wait. Yeah, you see that? Like. Oh. So it seems like I only control two images. Well, that looks right, I guess. Yeah, that's a flower. But I don't know where this last piece goes. Interesting. Wait. No. I don't know how to control the other pieces. This is going to be interesting. Is there anything in this room for a puzzle? Uh, hmm. I don't know what to do from here. Let's see. Well, I guess we'll just have to try to solve this. It still looks like a rose. So whatever I did, it saved. Huh. Okay, I think this part's right here. Definitely looks like a flower. What happens if we make it bigger? Oh, wait a minute. Well, that looked like it fit. That looks like it fits. What the? I am the darkness boy. Fear me. Go away. Get the hell out of here. Goodbye. So it was a rose? That didn't even like... The left side of it looked like a rose, but not the right side. Okay. 
Okay, one is done. That was weird. Wait, why is he locked in there again? How'd that cage undo itself? It should open because of the... Oh, huh, that's weird. I don't know what to do now. Uh, hmm. So the TV's broken. One of the things opened. So we got two more puzzles to solve. This one already helped us solve the reception puzzle. Can I do anything with the syringe with this guy? Oh, that. What? Oh, hi. I put some medicine in your, uh... Irrelevant. No need to explain yourself. Okay. Who are you? Obviously, I'm inspiration. Inspiration? Uh, shouldn't you be, you know, more inspiring? Yeah, maybe I should. But you left me a long behind a long time ago. We used to work together when you were younger. Playing piano, painting, building stuff. Those are some good memories, man. I wonder why I stopped. All work and no play made you a dull boy. Yeah, I suppose. You know, you could use me every now and then. Okay, so what do you have for me? I did write a small tune. It's a bit generic since you never questioned my creation. Anyway, it'll help you on your path. All right, let's hear it. Oh. Okay. So that's how I was supposed to solve the uh, other puzzle for the reception room, but I kind of already figured it out by just fiddling around. Encore. Okay. Uh, no more notes, but these markings must mean something. Yeah, okay. We figured that out. I thought they all had to go to the right, so I guess that's why I magically figured that out. That was cool, though. Maybe that'll unlock one more of those, uh, one more of those things. Too bad our inspiration's dead again. Uh, let's see. What's in this room? So this is the machine that fixed reception. Let's we're done with the reception now. Let's go to basement. I don't even know where the basement room is. Um I guess we have to go through here. Four six nine. Nope. Okay, that was to get into the uh, power room. Oh, Jesus. What the? Okay. Oh, the TV's up again. Wait, what is this? Wait, this is, is this a different room? Ma'am, you okay? Ah, oh, great. Another TV? Uh, what is that? Is that a skull? I think that's a skull. Wait a minute, no, that's an elephant's head. I can see the giant trunk. Oh yeah, that's an elephant. Did I get it? Oh, there it goes. Well, that was easy. Why do you even try? You deserve nothing. You won't last the night. Give up. Oh, God. Damn, this game's cool. What's in there? Nothing. Okay, um, maybe one of those belts loosened again. Okay, 
Okay, there's one more. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, let's go to the right and through the door. Hold my hand. Uh oh. Oh, another TV? Well, we're getting real good at these TV problems. Wait, hold my hand. I know what we're looking for. We're looking for two people holding hands. That's easy. Oh, there it is. Oh, we just got to fiddle with the zoom. Uh, maybe a little bigger on that one. Nope, too big. There we go. Still afraid of whispers from the darkness? You're not worthy, fool. Nobody loves you. Be gone, thought, and leave me alone. Uh, guess we're leaving now. Oh, there it is. So I turned on a light to the basement. I don't even think we found a basement room. That was kind of weird. Turned on something. Oh, God. Oh, he's hauling. Nope. Oh, God. I hate this thing. Ah. Oof. Okay, I think it's over. All right, let's go back this way. All right, now we can go through the door. This is the one with the belts on it, so let's go. Forgiveness. Miss Goodwin? No. I'm forgiveness, baby. This good one is the form you gave me. But I'm sorry about everything. She never blamed you, baby. Don't don't you worry, child. I know, but I do. I do. I'm forgiveness. Let me help you. How? Baby, l l listen up, child. There's a reason why you can't forgive yourself. It's all connected. Your past, your parents, how their business was taken away from them. Everything in this life molds you. Yeah, and I did the same to Miss Goodwin. I took away her home. You put so much time and energy into regretting that decision. Just why? Regret is all you seem to do. I can't just let it go. I don't think I ever can stop blaming myself. It's like something is stopping me. Maybe there is something more. Maybe you need to find that something. And then, in the throes of your journey, maybe you'll be ready to forgive yourself. I'm not reasoned, but I advise you to carry on. You're bound to find what you're looking for, child. Have faith, know what I mean? You know, that, that'll restore yourself. Would you tell me what happened after your parents passing? They placed me in an orphanage where I grew up. It was okay, I suppose. I made good friends there with a boy named Charlie. Although I haven't seen him in ages. Tell me more about it. Well, we were very close. But then when I reached adulthood, I moved to another city. To pursue a career for the McDade, Broughton, and more. I do regret not keeping in touch with Charlie. I read it all. Sounds like you're too harsh on yourself. Maybe you shouldn't dwell on the past. But now I'd like to hear more about the death of your parents. Such tragedy is bound to leave a mark. Nah, it's fine, Doc. I try not to think about it. It's easier that way. Tell me, how did that make you feel? I felt sad, but I was able to shut it away. I got over it surprisingly fast. 
We all react differently to such loss. But could it be possible that you never really process their passing? Tell me, did you ever take time to yourself just to mourn? No? Not really. But like I said, it's okay. I didn't need to. Mr. Price, I believe you could be suffering from trauma. It sounds like you're not... Uh, like you're still in denial. Instead of processing your loss, you shut it away. Maybe in the silence, it's trauma is molding your every decision. I don't believe that's the case, Doc. I mean, I do appreciate your help. And our time seems to be up. Please don't shy away from my words. Give it some thought, and who knows what you might find. Heavy. The game's getting heavy. Epilogue. Hope. I must be close now. I want to see this through. To make sense of all this. Delusion Part 2. I'll save. Um, I guess we'll go right. Oh, there we go. Do you really want to do this? You'll never vanquish me. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Ah, perfect. It's you again. Hmm? How rude. I'm here to help you out of this crap hole. Huh? You heard right. And how would you do that? Do not underestimate me. There is but one condition. You shall never abandon me. And that's it. If you would just sign the agreement. Uh... I shouldn't. Don't be an idiot. I'm offering you a way out from this torment. What's there even to think about? I suppose you have a point there. Just that... Enough! Sign! <laughs> Enough! Ah! Not you again. Silence. Don't sign it. Just think. The journey. Agony. Loss. Forgiveness. Love. You are healing. Here he is. Reason and his poetic wisdom. Ha <laughs> ha! Listen to me. You do not need him. Not anymore. But he's offering a way out. Not a way in which you want to go. Trust me, this last time. at last what's happening you chose thank you welcome ambition ambition there's a fine line between greed and me you made the right choice but without reason I would have signed don't forget what we we're all connected you will need ambition once you're out out was that a little smile on your face? Keep your spirits high. There is still something locked away deep inside. You will need all your... You will need all your... You're all to conquer it. Stay strong. You're almost there. Uh, okay. I can't go that way anymore.
Prepare yourself. I'll be there. Mom? Dad? Hey, son! How are you, honey? I feel more energized. I mean, I must be close now. That's great, honey. Keep going, son. What are you guys doing here? Are you okay? Don't worry about us, son. Your dad is right. You need to focus. Let's... This time, we're sent by loss. Huh? You don't want to hear it. But you simply must. Okay, what does he have to say? Loss brings a painful memory. A memory you've locked away. Uh... I'm so sorry, honey. But you have to face it. You're strong. You will overcome this. I love you both. What do I have to do? Close your eyes and focus. Think of us. Boring! All my toys are in the new home already. And I'm hungry! Childhood memory. The end of childhood. Huh. It's raining outside. There's no food in the oven. Also, don't we have a fridge? Dad said they'll bring some pizza. I want pizza now. Yeah, me too. Same down below in the comment sections if you're hungry for some pizza. I could go for a slice right now. There's nothing there anymore. All this stuff is in the kitchen. The new home is so much smaller. Oh, well. Oh, really? I thought this was a pretty big house. Where's the... Uh... So I can't go that way. I'll speed up. There we go. Um, maybe they'll come at the front door. I don't know how to tell time yet. Oh, yeah. I've been there before. But shouldn't Mom and Dad be back already? I'm going to eat at least ten pizzas. Dad says I eat more than a horse. Wait, Mom and Dad both left to get pizza? It only takes one. Someone should have stayed home with the child. Plus, it's raining, too. Oh. Nope. There we go. Oh, a knock at the door. Oh, perfect. It's probably Dad with the pizza. My parents said I shouldn't open the door to strangers. I'll just be quiet. Oh. Okay. Hey, kid. Don't be scared. My name is John. I'm from the police. Would you open the door, please? Oh. The cops? Uh. Okay. Hey! What's your name, kiddo? Uh. I, uh. Something happened. I'm terribly sorry. But. There was a car accident. Where's mom and dad? I'm very sorry. They're both in a better place now. Hey, don't worry. You might not want to hear it, but it's going to be okay. Someone will take good care of you. Oh, before I forget, I was able to retrieve this from the car. I believe this belongs to you. Mr. Snouty. Aww. To be honest, I thought he was going to burn the house down with the oven. Run. Oh, God. Whoa, whoa. Go, baby, go. Oh, he's speeding up. Mr. Snouty, we're cool, dude. Oh, this is the trauma from the memory of getting the doll back.
hell is that? The source of it all. Can I stop? I better keep going. What is this? Uh, what are you? Oh, that's that gear we keep seeing. Reason, what the hell is that thing? It's the source of everything in you. Please stop. Speak plainly so I can understand. You must finally face it. The dark place inside you that's holding you prisoner. Insecurity. Unworthiness. The source of it all. And here you are, ready to do so. I don't. Listen to me now. For I am the reason. Tell me, what is that thing? It's... Look closer. It is... trauma? Yes. The source of all things in you. But now, after all these years, you have the chance to overcome it. I... can't. It's too powerful. And what's even the point? You're on the brink of restoring yourself. But how could I ever overcome my loss? By accepting and dealing with me. But with my job, how can I go on? You found me. And together, we'll rise. I feel empty. How can I be motiv become motivated again? Challenge my creation. What do I have left to fight for? I'm somewhere out there find me. But what if things go sour again? I'll be there to comfort you, mate. How can I live without with this misery? I exist for a reason. Accept me. How can I live with my fears? My only ambition is to keep you out of harm's way. How can I ever forgive myself? For me, baby. Okay, okay. You see now? You're almost there, but you're missing something. Think. A letter. The letter Charlie gave me. That has to be it. I knew you'd get this far. You've always been determined, bro. But at the same time, your insecurity negated your determination, bro. Leaving you, like, exposed, man. I've been trying to, like, reach you, dude. Waiting for, like, you know, the right moment. You're standing on the precipice, Ready to take the leap, you know, like a faith, man. Please, let me help you. Of course. Courage. I have all I need. Mom and Dad? I understand it now. I shouldn't have suppressed my agony. I didn't face my loss. 
I made some horrible choices in my life. I never understood why. But I do now. I think I'm ready to restore hope. I've been searching high and low, but I can't seem to find what I'm looking for. And yet all of this must hold a purpose. I've been led here by reason. If you're there, please, somehow, help me. Son. Mom? Dad? It is time. What do you mean? I don't understand. Your light. Let it shine from within. Welcome back. For you've been missed. Hope. What? We are all connected. We are now complete. I, uh... Can you see it now? We're a thought. We're his last hope. A journey in the blink of an eye. Please, hurry. No one else can stop him but you. It all depends on you. What do I need to do? You know what to do. Oh, wow. I guess we're going this way. Oh boy. I'm here. There's so much to see. Don't do it. I couldn't do it. Something. Something changed. Oh no. Someone must have heard the shotgun. Is everything all right? That voice sounds familiar. Everything's okay. I'm coming in just to make sure, okay? Uh, okay. Oh my. What, what did you? I, I was going to, uh, well, something. Hey. Calm down, please. It's okay. My name is Jen. I just moved here a couple of days ago. Uh, my name is Casey. Nice to meet you, Casey. Uh, you too, Jen. Thanks for checking on me. I'm sorry I'm such a mess. Don't worry about it. Do you want to talk about it? Uh... There's a good cafe nearby. That is, if you like coffee. I love coffee. All right then, let's go. A game by Jesse McConan. Wow. Well, that concludes our story, I think, here. Hey guys, thank you very much for playing The Strain 2. It was a crazy amount of work to create this little game. Here's hoping you liked it. Oh, please consider dropping a review wherever you got the time from. I appreciate that. I'd also like to thank my family and friends for their support. Also, thanks to the people that have been active on social media and encouraged me to keep going. I can really appreciate their efforts. You can find me in my games at jessemcconan.com, Twitter at jesse underscore McConan, Facebook at jesse McConan Games. English edited and proofread by Jen Hewitt, UK, Krista. Find me on Steam ID uh, Kik, Kiki Wasoda. Or Keki, Keki Wasoda. Wow. Finnish developer who made this. All hand drawn, beautiful. One hell of a story. I was kind of afraid to play the first one. Again, I watched uh, another YouTuber by the name of. Uh, 
Yippie ki Mr. Falcon play through this, and uh, really just a fantastic, fantastic YouTuber. So if you want to find out how the first game goes, please do me a favor, drop by his video playlist and just say I tell him hello and uh, enjoy Distraint 1. And then you can come back and, of course, watch through Distraint 2 again to understand everything fully. What a great game. An interesting story and a really nice art style with uh, roots. It's just kind of scary, but I, ne I never died. I never gave up. I had hope and determination and whatnot. It was all... It was all good. All right, well, that is the end of this playthrough. Thank you, everyone, for supporting it. It's my, uh, I guess, my goal, then, to uh, try to play more different games on the channel uh, that are not my typical, you know, playthrough-type style. But this was short and sweet and simple and very nice and interesting and uh, immersive and cool, and I like that. If you have any other suggestions for games you'd like me to play, go ahead and check down below in the comments section and go ahead and vote or uh, make a listing of what else you'd like me to play. That's a little unusual and we might take a look for it on the channel. With that uh, said, I would highly encourage you to purchase Distraint and Distraint 2 and give them a try for yourself. They're good for your library and uh, good for your soul, too. Very interesting, very nicely done, and very weird and kooky, and that's cool. All right, everyone. Well, take care. I will see you all very, uh, very soon. I all appreciate uh, your support, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone. Take care.